All right, Jeff Bezos' space company Blue Origin is teaming up with other aerospace giants for a successful trip to the moon. Blue Origin will partner with Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and a not-for-profit engineering center to compete in NASA's project to send humans to the moon by 2024. Uh, the Amazon CEO is more than excited about what the possible accomplishments from the new partnership could be. And this is the kind of thing, it's so ambitious, it needs to be done with partners. This is the only way to get back to the moon fast. And this time we're going back to the moon, and we're not going back to the moon to visit, we're going back to the moon to stay. I mean, do you want to stay on the moon? <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to do go into space. Visit? Every time they ask, like, oh, do you want to be a, a space tourist? Yeah, I, I say, no, I'm not really interested. Well, I, I agree, and we've done this a version of these stories so many times here yeah. on, on Yahoo that it's like, you have to then ask, do you want to go to space? And the joke is, oh, Jen wants to go, but I don't right. want to go. I don't think anybody really wants to go. Nobody wants to go, but I mean, for, look, from a business standpoint, as Shauna Smith says, you yeah. never bet against That's space. Right. So I mean, it is, it is an interesting business story, and I think that it is kind of fascinating to see uh, the, the, the coupling of these types yeah. of private companies too, right? Everyone's talking about how much private money exists in this space, and yeah. I don't think anyone is seriously saying that you know SpaceX will go public anytime soon. But it is just interesting to see. I mean, these are still massive industries, and I think that if you were to rewind to 20 or 30 years ago, people would probably be wondering if private equity had enough or private markets had enough uh, money to be able to do this type of stuff to send things into space. Right, it's pretty amazing. It's great. Uh, I I mean, I think whenever the story comes up, I wonder like. Why is Jeff Bezos so excited about space? Why isn't he more excited about Amazon? <laughs> You'd have to ask him. I think him. it's a fair I, question. I think right. it's a fair question. Amazon's doing fine, still does amazing stuff, has its problems, but why isn't he more focused on that? Well, because I think this is his hobby, right? I, I know, mean, the, but he's the, the CEO of the biggest thing. company in the world. Second biggest, third biggest, whatever. Right. Well, they, I yeah, have hobbies, have... you have hobbies. We're not billionaires. <laughs> I guess. We're not responsible for it. It brings up the question I mean, how much bandwidth do you have? Is it almost yeah, like, yeah, a, yeah. like a Cobb Douglas function of you only have so many resources to allocate? So, you know, d does your investment in your hobby take yeah. away from your ability to We're perform? We're moving the work? on okay. after Cobb, Cobb Douglas, Douglas functions. Yeah, show off there.